Hello. I've wanted to make this video for quite some time, but as anyone who's done anything stupid like this will tell you, there's never quite a moment when it feels done and ready to present. So I just decided now or never. Hi, I'm Brian. I live in Utah. And um, among the many things you probably know about Utah, even if you've never been here, it's that uh, you could assume that uh, there's not a lot of pubs here. The pub culture is um, lacking. So rather than spend all my money uh, traveling up to the big city all the time, uh, the big city being of course Salt Lake, and to go uh, check out some of their cool pubs, which there are quite a few, I decided to have um, my very own midlife Christ uh, basement renovation. <laughs> and I'd love to show it to you now, come on. Hi dog, don't worry about the dog. Uh, let's add to the festive nature of things, why not? Standard issue Utah track house. But what lies beneath? That's the question. Follow me. We start, of course, with the roll top desk, the globe bar. Just to start setting the tone, setting the mood as we walk down, the pipes, tobacco pipes, Mr. Wild, looking charming as ever. Come on, come on. When we bought this house, it was just, this was an empty, empty white walled basement situation. Um, well, it's now become this. Okay, so welcome. Welcome to my basement crisis. I mean pub. Um, this is uh, where all the grown-ups spend their time. Um, the question obviously is why a pub? And for those of you who love pubs, that probably is not a question you're asking. It's very self-explanatory. However, for us, we have three kids. We live here in a very family-friendly state of Utah in a very family-friendly neighborhood. And frankly, a lot of families around here like to um, turn their basements into giant rec rooms for the kids, which is awesome. We decided let's let the whole house be a rec room for the kids and um, let's make something where grown-ups can just hang out and, uh, you know, avoid their children. So, slam shit to that. First thing I need to uh, show you is the furniture, the chairs, the stools. I got them from used pub equipment, I believe, in... Oh wait, I think I have the label right here. I got it from... Yes, used pub and hotel equipment in um, Kilbegan, Ireland. So they sent me uh, a bunch of real authentic Irish pub stools, chairs of the incredibly short height that is required to give it sort of that more authentic Irish pub cozy feel. It's really difficult to find stools this high in uh, the United States, I was finding. So, I got tables, chairs that came from Ireland. Has that, um, you know, that authentic stink that you want. Up there, the stage. For anyone who is musically inclined, get up there and jam on the guitar, jam on the Irish tenor banjo, maybe do some karaoke up there. Um, it's become a really useful area for, even with kids want to just hang out and party. Um, I, Oscar Wilde, always looking down at you, of course. Bunch of the decor. People ask where I got the decor from. Uh, I've kind of always had the taste of a 97-year-old man, so a lot of it just existed in the house already. Gotta have a dartboard. Drinking whiskey and beer and stuff is, is nice, but it's also nice to have a actual thing to do. This cricket board is awesome. Old popcorn machine that we had from years past has now got a second life down here. Loving it. Records, record player down there behind you. I also have it hooked up to the Echo so you can just have it play, you know, traditional Irish pub songs. The ceiling here, the ceiling tiles, I think look really great. Uh, they set a great tone and they are, I don't know if you can see my finger, but they are just PVC plastic, just glue. You cut them with, you cut them with normal kitchen scissors and you glue them up there. You just get them from Home Depot. Really affordable and um, they look great. Another bit of decor that I thought was really interesting was the stained glass on the windows. Go ahead and pan around there and you'll see those um, are standard basement well windows and just stickers. Those are just decals that I think I got from Home Depot as well. 
So a lot of the other stuff, like the Guinness sign, the Jameson sign, those I just got off of eBay. And the rest of the decor, as I said, is all pretty much eclectic freakiness. Here's a portrait of my, my mom there. We're happy to have her in the pub as well, so that's nice. Oh, and of course, there's Walt. Walt's been in the family for years, and again, he's found a new home there. Just scouring over everybody as they have their drinks. And once you have grown sick and weary of the amateur banjo playing, you might find yourself in need of the uh, water closet. Well, we have that. Plus, have you noticed that all the green here is the Jameson bottle green? Okay, is that cool? Or is that a little bit too much? Is that too much? It might be too much. If that wasn't too much, then the red is the Jameson bottle cap red. So here's the restroom, all decked out. I don't know why I'm showing you a restroom. That's just safe to assume that there is one and it's great because it functions. It even has running water. So there really is no amenity we don't have down here in the basement pub. So there's the piano as well, because you know, what pub is complete? Uh, I don't know, flamboyant Elton Johnning at 2 a.m. That's kind of the whole point. Of course we have the Mormon hymnal down here because we love to live ironically. And of course the bar itself. This came from Indonesia because I was too cheap to find it domestically. It took a solid eight months, I'm not gonna lie, but check it out, it's not bad. It came in three major pieces here. One, two, and then the back, three. And then these pieces on the back were separate. And as you can see, I am still missing the ceiling, the roof, because it does have the canopy rooftop. Uh, it is currently in my garage in two pieces waiting to be installed because it just won't fit down the stairs as one solid piece. So just wait on that, okay? When you come to visit, I'll, I'm sure I'll have it in. Got these illuminated booze stands from Amazon. Very inexpensive. Down here underneath comes with lots of storage for all the glassware, some snacks, water, and of course the fridge also down here, which is nice. Please don't mock me. Okay, look, we're all trying to watch our carbs. I mean, can't, it can't be all Guinness all the time. Uh, in fact, this is looking pretty paltry and pretty empty. Maybe you, maybe you should come over and bring some stuff, whoever you are, internet. My favorite thing in the whole world has gotta be this ice machine though. Oh my gosh, it's um, kind of changed my life and it really works well. You get seven pieces of ice every seven minutes, or so they say. It runs without any water hookup, so I just have to refill it every so often with this Brita water because, yeah, that's right, too cheap to have plumbed this. This is a dry bar. So we have this sofa zone over here with the little stool, so card games, just sipping and talking, fit six people over here, which is awesome. We have the bar itself with these stools that I'm so grateful for my brother providing. He, he works at a restaurant and they were gonna chuck these out and they are really high quality and perfect. This is probably the most difficult decision down here. Just do you put a TV in? And eventually landed on a retractable TV mount from Amazon. Very slow, very simple though. And so it allows you to retract the TV virtually flush to the ceiling and then when you want it it comes down and actually i'm quite happy with the result i think it's great for the environment and it's nice to have the option plus for real men who are interested in sports not me they can come down here for game day hang out have a pint and watch the show wait show it's a game do they call it shows if you watch a football game do they say the football show sure, certainly not uh, i gotta check with some real men i'll be right back and perhaps the most important thing that we've added down here to the pub is this little guy. This little gizmo here. What is it? Well, you just simply plug it into an outlet. And um, I'll have my daughter go ahead and run upstairs and demonstrate why it's so important. So. And that sound signifies that children are on their way down. Very important addition. 
Hi, happy to see you, child. So that's about it. We've had 25, 30 people down here, believe it or not, and uh, it's always been great. There really is no environment more welcoming, inviting, warm, and just open to fun than, in my opinion anyway, an Irish pub. And if you do make it out to Utah, I'm down here in Spanish Fork, uh, and you do want to come hang out, then come on by. You can even crash here, because there's no drinking and driving, especially not in Utah. It's also, of course, a B&B. &B. So, that's about it. I hope you've enjoyed witnessing my midlife crisis. Um, come on by, hang out, play some tunes. Uh, I'll go ahead and start a uh, GoFundMe now to uh, reimburse everything, all of these these huge mistakes I've made. This is it's not financially wise to do what I've done, that's for sure. Um, so if you wouldn't mind just giving me your money so that I could feel better about having spent it frivolously, that'd be great. Until then, see ya.